I come in? Uh, what's this about? I just want to let you know that it's official. Due to conflict of interest, I'll be taking myself off Claudia's murder investigation. I'll be turning over all of the evidence and my notes to another detective. And that includes the name of a witness that I've turned up. The night Claudia disappeared, the storm flooded Kate Howard's pool. Somebody had to let the pool guy in at 3 a.m. Maxie. You're not saying anything. Can't say I'm surprised. I'm listening. Maxie had a front row seat at the Corinthos gates. She would have been able to see anyone who came or went. Now, of course, she says she didn't see anyone, but we both know she's lying. I didn't press Maxie, but I did list her in my report as a potential witness, and the next detective is not going to go so easy on her. They'll bring Mac in, and it's only going to be a matter of time before Maxie says what she knows. Why, why are you telling me this? Maybe I've come to realize that I've, I've judged you unfairly about a lot of things. I'll tell you the identity of a witness that might help make a capital case against Sonny, right? It's because I trust you, Jason. A lot more than some people. Are you okay? Something different here? Yeah, everything is. Yeah. Everything. I did a little redecorating myself lately. Look, I, uh, I came down on you pretty hard for what happened with Franco and, um, you know, for your, your choice to save Sam instead of my sister, but after cooling down, I realized that you did the best you could with what was an impossible situation. That was more than fair of you. You know, like when you when you do a crime scene, you, you try to look at it from all the angles, like the, the front street shooting. I mean, I looked at it up close. I went down the street, into the alley. I got down on the ground. I went up onto the roofs. Because you, you don't you don't see things from just one point of view. You're you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss what's what's right in front of you. I want to talk about something. Oh, I'm off the case, remember? This isn't an official visit. I was just giving you an example. I could give you another one, like what happened with Jake. What, what about Jake? Oh, we've already talked about all the lies and secrets that you and Elizabeth kept, possible motivations, but in the end, you were the one. You had to give up your son. Elizabeth and I couldn't make it work, you know? We were a, a disaster, and you and Jake were collateral damage. You deserve to know the truth, I should've told you. Elizabeth. Elizabeth told you not to, though. And when the woman you love tells you to do something, it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard to say no. I can't regret Jake. Oh, of course not, of course. I don't either. Yeah, Elizabeth cared for me. But she never stopped loving you. I don't think she ever will. Of course. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Lucky just left. He's taken himself off Claudia's case. Well, that's good news, no? Uh, I don't know because another detective will be assigned. He's gonna take a look at Lucky's notes and he could possibly identify Maxie. Maxie? As a witness. What could Maxie possibly know about Claudia's well, death? Well, apparently she was outside Sonny's gate that night at 3 a.m. Okay, which means that she could have seen Sonny. Or Michael. You know, in the car with Sonny the night Claudia disappeared, the cops are gonna bring him in for questioning. And you're worried that Michael won't be able to hold up under the pressure? Well, they're gonna make him angry. Oh, and then he might lose control and blurt something out. Why didn't Maxie say anything? Because Lucky didn't press her. Well, they have history together. 
I guess that makes sense. Another detective probably wouldn't have gone so easy. I think we should talk to Spinelli and have him tell her to keep her mouth shut. Well, unfortunately, I can't have Michael's life depending on whether Maxie is going to keep her mouth shut or not. Okay. If, if this is about the color palette for the base, the only other option was something called Jasmine Flower. Well, this is not, a, it's not about decorating. Well, then why the urgent summons? Franco? No, it's not about Franco. I need you to tell me everything you saw outside Sonny's gate the night Claudia disappeared. 